Okay, Houston, right, we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Now we're almost done with our unit on weathering, erosion, and mass wasting. Doesn't that sound like a weird term? Mass wasting? What the heck is that? Well, mass wasting has to do with, these are kind of the more dramatic events in the world of weathering. This is where the mass is wasted. <laughs> it breaks down. These are the large movement of rock, soil, and debris downward due to gravity. You've heard of rock slides, right? And there are four kinds of mass wasting events. There's a slump, a rock slide, earth flows, and debris flows. There's four kinds. Let's look at each. Well, let's talk about the slump. The slump. <laughs> it's when the ground slumps. <laughs> it kind of just falls, right? So you've got a, a rupture right here, and you end up with these sort of flat spaces. You can see that in this real picture of a slump, and it's kind of it, like the whole thing shifts downward. Let's take a look at a video of an event where it's actually happening. Plutselig oppdaget han at et stort jordstykke var seget ut. Han og sønnen Esten trakk seg unna området og tok oppstilling på Lovebrua. Oi, det kjenner jeg. Ser du det? Ja. Derfra fikk du se at store jordmasser til slutt raste ut og reiste nedover jorden med stor kraft. Fy faen. Tyva! Tyva! Wasn't that super awesome? Kind of scary too. That was, I don't know, that might almost be a mud flow, but it was a pretty cool one there, wasn't it? All right, second kind's a rock slide. Now rock slides have, have actually been quite dangerous. Of course, it, here's a road right here, and it took, if somebody was down there, that was a bad day for them, wasn't it? So they can just slide, it's rapid, and bedrock move down slope. Obviously this is gonna happen in a steep location, a rock slide's gonna happen. Uh, let's take a look at a rock slide. Oh, putain. Oh, putain. And that was awesome, wasn't it? That's cool. Of course, you don't want to be at the bottom of that. When that falls, that would be a bad day for you. All right, what's, look, what's the next one? All right, earth flow. Now, earth flows are interesting ones. They're rapid. They occur on hillsides in humid regions. So you got to get a lot of water, right? Water saturates the soil, and then you get something called liquefaction. It's a special type of earth flow that's sometimes associated with earthquakes because it liquefies like earth, and then you get water mixed in, and it's amazing. Let's, let's watch a clip of this. This is really cool and sort of scary. Wow. Wow, 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 that was cool. I mean, it was kind of scary. I would not want to be in that river. I, I, there was a mud flow it, it, up in the Colorado area when I was uh, where I used to live. And uh, actually the librarian at our school, she got caught in one of those. She was driving down the pass. We lived in this high mountain area. And she got out of her car and she got swept away for a mile. She survived, but uh, she got hurt pretty bad. And uh, those mud flow, imagine being in one of those. It wasn't quite as fast as the one she was in, but it's still, it was pretty... Pretty bad. And then uh, a debris flow. This is the rapid flow of debris with water often confined to channels. You get a channel and then you get this flow. These can be very devastating. This is, this is somewhere, um, I forget where this is, is uh, somewhere in China and, and people were buried. Uh, it can be kind of a scary things. And uh, sometimes it happens with volcanoes and they make something called a lahar. We'll talk about that when we talk about volcanoes, which is pretty cool too. So that's, that's it, folks, for uh, the introduction to mass wasting. Got one more video we're going to learn uh, kind of in some greater detail about mass wasting. We'll see you guys in class. You guys are awesome.